Hi guys, welcome to Be Thrifty. In today's video, we are making a daybed bench. Daybed bench, it's kind of both. And I got it off Facebook Market for only $20. It's actually a couch, which I'm going to turn into a day bag. So stay with me and let's see how it turns out. This is what the couch looked like when I first got it. Uh, it's no longer with me because I took it apart and I, I'm only using the pieces that I need. And those are just the cushions. Uh, this, this couch was actually very heavy for me. The frame was extremely heavy and I couldn't really move it around by myself. So I decided to get rid of it and just keep the cushions. And that's what I'm going to use to make my day bed. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring three inches from each side of the MDF board to be able to center my legs and because I want them to be at even distance to be able to support the weight. So this is what I'm doing. And I hope you can see what I'm doing because I don't know if I'm making any sense, <laughs> but it'll work. Okay guys, so I am done adding my legs. I added two in the center for extra support. And now it's time to add the cushion. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my cushion on my fabric and then I will attach the fabric to the MDF board with staples. This day bed is the size of a twin bed so it is pretty long and I had to attach two more pieces to my fabric to make it longer. I used my very tiny sewing machine to sew the pieces together. Okay guys, so this is the finished look of my day bed. I finished decorating it. I think it looks pretty good. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. The rug here is from Five Below. I got it for just $5. I also got the throw from Five Below and that was also just $5, which was quite a bargain, I think. The rug is pretty large for five bucks and I love the pattern, I love the colors and I think it goes great with the day bed. Um, I think it turned out really, really nice. So the art on the wall is pretty much thrifted items. I made these paintings myself. These are a DIY project and the uh, macrame wall hanging is also a DIY project which I will show you on my next video how I made that but um, everything else is thrifted and I think it turned out pretty good and these hanging planters are from another video that I did I will link it up here so that you guys know where to find it that was a pretty good uh, video as well and I recommend that you watch it <laughs> The pillow is also a DIY project, so you will be seeing those on my next video, how I made those. And these pillowcases in the back here, I got from Amazon. I'll put a link down below so you know where to find them if you're interested. And these cushions uh, are part of the couch, and I just covered those in the same fabric. And this is how it looks, guys. And of course, that little table is also from my last video from one of my uh, thrift hauls. And that was a thrifted flip that I did. So check that video out as well. You would totally like it. I promise. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think my bench slash 
day bed turned out really great and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and I will see you next time let's keep being thrifty together so what I'm doing here is I'm drilling a pilot hole so that my screw doesn't split my wood when I put it in oh god that sounds nasty um. <laughs> Okay.